Hey, Shalom on uh, This is Yahweh Tazah coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers, after doing the work and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm just going to make a video just going based off on all, all the things that are going on in the world right now. Uh, the, the, you know, from the hurricanes, you know, and the earthquakes and things of that nature. You know, all these things are heightened, uh, speeding up so fast is because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is on his way. The end, as we know it, is here. All right? And it's going to be uh, a transition of kingdoms. And it's going to be the kingdom that, that reigns in power is going to be who the world calls God and Jesus Christ. That He's coming back to reestablish his, his, his world. All right? His kingdom with the elect. But before that happens, well, simultaneously, it's going to be judgment on you two-third Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. And you heathens, you Edomites, are going to see the downfall of your kingdom. All right? This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Right? And that's an archangel Michael is going to stand up for the children of, of, of uh, Israel. All right? The elect, mainly the elect. All right, through the power and strength of Yahweh Shai. That's going to happen, and it's happening right now. And there shall be a, a be a time of trouble. All right, so simultaneously there's going to be a, a deliverance and destruction. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be, shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right. Delivered from what? Destruction. All right. The ICBM missiles, the earthquakes, tornadoes, um, however the most I sees fit for your destruction. If you're not destined to be delivered, you're not preordained from the foundations of the earth to be delivered. All right. You don't fall into that a category of being the chosen, the elect. You're going to be destroyed, man. All right. So that's the time we're in right now. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And it says verse 2. And many of them shall sleep in the dust of the earth. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Right? That dust is represent the confusion. How many, how many of these so-called Mexicans over there in Mexico are confused right now with everything that's going on? You, a lot of videos I was watching here, a lot of uh, uh, women, uh, so-called uh, Mexican women crying, man. Whining. That's in the scriptures that uh, the women were going to uh, 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 moan and groan for, for the uh, the destruction. All right? Because you're a careless woman and, and you uh, Latin tribes are uh, heavily into idol worship. So Yahweh Shai is bringing uh, uh, judgment upon you, man. It's going to happen ultimately everywhere. The elect are scarcely going to be saved, man. Barely going to make it out of this uh, hell. Alright? It says, Some shall awake to everlasting life and, to, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. When, it, when, when, when you two-thirds wake up, it's, good to, it's going to be too late. Then you're going to realize that everything the men of the Lord and the high was and the Bible was, were saying, those men that were in the garments, that were preaching, raising their voice, getting in, in verbal confrontations with individuals uh, 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 speaking out against the so-called white man the Edomites Esau the ones that you had a problem with are going to be the ones that are going to be found uh, uh, in everlasting life while you're going to be in, in shame and everlasting contempt man so everything is happening simultaneously right now and you people don't even know it you, you think some rapture is going to come and just Take all you so-called self-proclaimed Christians, you, you, you uh, self-righteous people. No, man, you, it, it's happening right now. The elect are being sealed up spiritually, to the to where the it's going to come to a time where they're going to be taken up in a twinkling of an eye, right before the ICBM missiles hit. All right, so that's the time we're coming into, man. All right, this is a day of doom, a day of destruction. It's Yahweh Shai's time. He's coming back as a man of war. All right, this is a uh, second address, seven and forty. Uh, start at verse forty-one. Even so, now, seeing corruption is grown up, 
and wickedness increased and the righteous have prayed for the ungodly wherefore shall it not be so now also he answered me and said this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide therefore have they prayed for the weak right so we pray for the elect the brothers that are uh, uh, uh you know at their weak points we, that's who we're praying for. We ain't praying, praying for the ungodly. You two-thirds. You other nations. But simultaneously, there's going to be a deliverance. And right now, we if you open your eyes, you see a, a, a corruption has grown and wickedness has increased in the earth, man. All right? Verse 43, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. See this? In, in, in America, and the whole globe is under that that vibration man all right this is the year of death destruction and diligence all right you have those that are gonna uh, wake up to everlasting life and those are gonna wake uh, wake up to everlasting contempt this is the day of doom death destruction and diligence and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past and temperance isn't at an end infidelity is cut off righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up that's right and that like as i keep mentioning simultaneously there's going to be this deliverance and this destruction is all going to happen at the same time it's not going to be one period a period of time of peace and then another period of tribulation another period of time of tribulation that's going on simultaneously there's, all these things are going to be occurring right but right underneath underneath those people's uh noses and, and right in front of your eyes and, and at the tips of your, your finger fingertips, the elect are being sealed up via internet or, you, or, or an individual walking uh, cro across the camp with the brothers preaching on the highways and the byways, man. This is the time to, uh, to repent. This is the time to get and find that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding which is going to be the stability of thy, of, of thy salvation. The stability of, thy, of, thy, uh, uh, of thyself and, thy, and strength of thy salvation, man. Because great, great uh, miseries are coming upon the earth. All right. It says, verse 45, Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that hath gotten the victory. That's right, because Yahweh Shai came to destroy death, man. Yahweh Shai is, 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 is with the elect. All right. That's who he's going to defend, and that's, who's, that's who he's going to protect from the said perils that are to come. The earthquakes. The flood that happened over there in uh, uh, Houston, all right? The brothers that are over there in Miami, okay? You got brothers everywhere that the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is protecting and he's reserving them in, in safety, man. How are the Most High Seas fit, man? All right? He has an elect that he's coming back to deliver. But in the meantime, destruction is going to be going on in the earth, all right? That's what, uh, that's what we've been preaching all this time man ever since the inner uh youtube popped up back in 2008 i believe uh the men uh, uh so like it, the elders of, of gms they've uh they woke up uh a lot of brothers via internet man all right this is uh jeremiah so like it. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence right and, and everything's coming to pass man that's how we know that uh, the elders of great millstone starting with elder Tahar all the way down to the to the uh, least of the brothers have been telling you the truth man all right uh, destruction is coming uh, upon the earth okay um let's see here hold that um let me get this it's like your brothers this is uh the book of joel chapter 1 verse 15 alas for the day the day of the lord is at hand and as a destruction from the Almighty, shall it come? Yeah. So Yahweh Shai is bringing these evils upon the earth. 
for all you so-called Christians that that uh, don't believe that the Lord can work evil, man. He created good and evil, man. All right. So that's what's coming upon the earth. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day of the Lord to show his power and strength. It's like he did in the time of uh, 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 Pharaoh when he delivered uh, our people out of Egypt in the old times, man. Now he's going to show it again. But this time it's going to be far worse. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming back with with the uh with with great uh velocity and, and power, man. Alright, he's gonna make you remember and know that he is a true power. And there's none else. Alright, there's no coincidence that all these things that are uh, happening on the earth uh are just happening for any any reason, man. It's, it's happening because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai had uh uh, uh, predestined it to be this way all right uh, let me go ahead and bring out this one I had this is the in the book of Hosea uh, chapter 8 verse 11 it says Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart they call to Egypt they go to Assyria right Ephraim is the head the, the main head of the northern kingdom of the Latin tribe so the uh, so-called Mexicans that fall into the cat, the tribe of Issachar, y'all fit into the same uh, prophecy. All right, Ephraim is also like a silly dove without heart. Right, y'all are silly people, man. Y'all, y'all don't take nothing serious. Y'all are all about uh, 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 materialistic vanity things, man. Okay, y'all are without heart. Y'all don't, y'all don't really use the spirit, man. Y'all's pineal gland ain't ain't working properly. They call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. Y'all go to the y'all go to America. Y'all go to these other uh, uh, false religions, all right? You do all these abominable acts before the face of the Lord and act like you ain't going to get paid back for it, man. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them as their con congregation hath heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is, is, is telling you that destruction is unto you, man. There ain't no coincidence that all these earthquakes are just is annihilating Mexico, man. Which the majority of a lot of you Issacharites, that's where you 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 reside at. Pursuant to Jer uh, Genesis chapter forty nine, you so called Mexicans, you are is y'all are uh, come from the tribe of Issachar, Yashashkar, which means he is hired. All right. Verse thirteen: Woe unto them, for they have fled from me; destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. Right? So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he redeemed you when? And during the time of Egypt, man. He showed you his power. And we have the records to prove it right here in the scriptures, man. To prove that he exists. That's what Yahweh means. He exists. He is. We have the proof in the records right here, but it's all based through faith. But he says that uh, yet they have spoken lies against me. You spoken lies against him, man. You turned the doctrine into a lie. You, you you've perverted the gospel. You you started worshiping false idols. Santa Maria, Santa Guadalupe, all these different idols, man. The the, the uh, uh, Santa Maria holding the baby, which goes back to Semiramis and Tammuz, man. Worshiping heavily that white image, uh, which who y'all call Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo. All right. Verse 14, and they have not cried unto me with their heart. Talking about your mind. You didn't fully uh, uh, mean anything that you're uh, asking of the Lord. When they howled upon their beds, they assembled themselves for corn and wine, and they rebelled against me. Right, you're always just wanting to be fed tangible things. You're wanting tangible things. You weren't wanting spiritual food, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the fear of the Lord, faith. The things that the eyes can't see, man. All right, though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet they, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return, but not to the Most High. Right, you return, but not to the Most High. And you're feeling good. You're feeling well. You lift it up. All right, you're feeling fat. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Right, so no matter where you go, you land tribes, all right, so-called Mexicans, you're going to be destroyed, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to find you. No matter where you try to go, where you try to dig, 
Okay.